today in Make a Drink, we're gonna do something a little different because we're gonna make our own spicy jalapeno habanero infused tequila. And then we're gonna take that tequila and we're gonna make a spicy Paloma. Now you could use this tequila in anything. You could use it in Palomas, you could use it in margaritas, or you could use it if you wanna take a shot. But what we're gonna to do today is a little different. And I haven't seen someone uh, attempt this, even though I think we've all achieved the results here, which is I'm gonna make this as hot as possible. With the goal being that in the future, you have one bottle of a spicy pepper jalapeno tequila and you're putting that into drinks, but you're not using a full two ounces. You're using half an ounce, a quarter of an ounce, an ounce. The tequila I'm using today is Suerte. You don't need to be using a top shelf tequila here. This was not a super expensive bottle. I thought it tasted just fine so out of the bottles I have on hand, probably my least favorite, but use any tequila you want. You don't have to go for the expensive stuff. If you wanna use a Jose Cuervo or something like that, go for it. But this is almost a full bottle. I think I'm short two to four ounces from a couple of margaritas. So we're gonna set this aside. And then I don't really wanna mess around here. So I have four jalapenos and one habanero. I wanna cut up uh, these jalapenos to be uh, pretty small so we can uh, extract all the flavor we can out of them. I'm not gonna remove the seeds or any of the membrane inside. Add our tequila. So like I said, I was down a couple ounces here. I think if you had a full bottle of tequila and using a mason jar, it would be just about perfect. The goal here is not to have the perfect uh, heat level in this tequila. Let's just get this as hot as possible and then we can dilute it when we're making cocktails in the future. So for this one, I'm gonna wait a full 24 hours and I'll come back tomorrow and we will make a spicy Paloma. Okay, we are back. It's been 24 hours since we started the process of infusing our tequila with habanero and jalapeno peppers. And spoiler alert, I did do a little taste test and it's uh, hot. This is uh, hot as shit, and it'll uh, burn your mouth off. So um, that's what I kind of wanted to test out. I didn't want to put it in a cocktail and not really know how spicy it was going to be, but it's actually the perfect level of spiciness because uh, we're going to be able to dial this down. You could use just half an ounce to a quarter of an ounce and that'll give you a nice spicy cocktail. Plus this will last you a lot longer than if you just made a bottle that had the right amount of uh, infused tequila. So first, let's strain off everything inside of this. The smell is, the smell is potent to say the least, but uh, let's strain this off. Prep our bottle with a label. spicy jalapeno habanero infused tequila. So let's move on now to a spicy Paloma. There are so many ways to make a Paloma and I think the most common is just to use, you know, tequila, maybe some lime juice and a grapefruit soda. So you could use something like squirt, you could use like a fever tree grapefruit, but since this is a cocktail channel, let's make our own version from scratch using fresh grapefruit juice and fresh lime juice. For our spicy Paloma, we're gonna use 
half an ounce of agave syrup, half an ounce of fresh lime juice, two ounces of fresh grapefruit juice, half an ounce of our homemade spicy tequila, and then one and a half ounces of tequila blanco. Or if you want, you could use a reposado here as well. Add some ice to your tin. We're gonna shake this for 10 seconds. Now we're gonna serve this as a long drink, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of soda first. Followed by some nugget ice. And then we're gonna to top off with some club soda. And I'm gonna garnish this one with a slice of grapefruit and a slice of lime. This is one of my favorite Paloma recipes. I mean, the heat is there. The heat is definitely hitting me in like the back of my palate, the back of my throat. It's lingering, it's there, but it's not overpowering. If you're not into heat, um, and you probably wouldn't want this drink, but um, if if you do like a little bit of heat, you could even just use a quarter of an ounce, um, and even try maybe making it in your shaker tin first, and then using a spoon to just try to taste test it and see if it's hot enough for you. But I think using more than half an ounce is going to completely overwhelm this drink, unless you're into really really spicy foods and spicy drinks. The drink is not overly sweet. We use half an ounce of agave. Uh, grapefruit does have some sweetness to it, but that bitterness sort of um, makes it feel really balanced. The fresh grapefruit juice is delicious. It's a totally different take on a Paloma than using a soda like uh, Squirt or some other type of grapefruit soda. And this is definitely um, my preferred way to drink a Paloma. I don't know. I think I might be replacing my margaritas with, uh, with this recipe right here. All right, that's it for this one. This was your own homemade do-it-yourself spicy, extra spicy tequila um, with a spicy Paloma recipe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, uh, give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, see you in the next one.